guys, today we're gonna see the true, the one and only way on how to make French crepes. So first of all, we're gonna make them the proper way using a crepe pan. This is a nice, specially made pan that's very thin and it's perfect for crepes. A lot of people are using this. This is a frying pan. This is a crepe pan. As you can see, they're totally different. So always use that little baby when you want to make real crepes. And I'm going to show you today the simple recipe that's the most delicious that you can make when it comes to French crepes. So let's jump in and enjoy some crepes. So away from the crepe pan, what do you need to make these authentic French crepes that everybody talks about? Well, it's very simple. Let's have a look. We need three eggs, 25 grams of sugar, five centiliters of Cuban rum, a whisk, 50 centiliters or two cups of full cream milk, 50 grams of butter, 200 grams of flour, a container and a sieve. So now let's have a look how we make them. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take all the flour, we're going to put it in the sieve all at once. We want to have the flour nice and filtered. Second step, you're going to take your whisk and you simply make a well in the middle. You then add a pinch of salt, it's not in the ingredients because it's really a pinch. You can now add all of your sugar at once. Then add your eggs on top in the fountain. And when you're done, you're gonna start breaking the eggs and mixing the eggs, sugar and salt without incorporating too much flour. You can now add a little bit of milk and this is where you start to stir incorporating your flour bit by bit. When you have incorporated enough flour you just add some more milk and you continue the process until all of the flour is incorporated. When all of the milk is in, make sure you check the size of your container because as you can see here, there's always little bits, you see? There's always bits of flour, so make sure you scrap the sides and give a nice vigorous shake to make sure all the clumps are gone. Second step, we're gonna melt our butter. You get a small saucepan, fire on. I'm taking all of my butter straight in. And we're gonna leave our butter in the pan until it's totally melted. When your butter is melted, leave it in the pan a little bit until it gets a bit of a chestnut color, a little slightly, slightly brownish. Back to our mix, I'm taking my butter and I'm just pour it in all at once. Once it's in, you give a nice stir to your mix and you get that nice color. So make sure you stir mm, just half a minute or so, making sure all of the butter, it's really incorporated and it also has to cool down a little bit, okay? So don't just pour it in, do one a tiny swirl and stop, okay? It has to be nicely blended in. Done. We're gonna now add our rum all at once and again give it a nice stir. All right, we're all done. We can now take a clean towel, put it over your mix and leave it sit here for one hour. And now for the fun part, let's cook some of these crepes. As you can see, I've had my trial run. Of course, it's always uh, useful to test your dough or your batter. Okay, you want high heat on your pan. I'm using here a piece of potato in sunflower oil. So when I coat my pan, I really have control over where do I want the oil. As you can see here, it's sizzling hot and this is what you want when you make crepes. When you start off, make sure you get enough mix in your pan and you want to immediately kind of make that circle, okay? And roll around to 
<coughs> to make sure you get an even layer of dough everywhere. Okay, let's do it again. Bit of oil in the pan. You don't want to overdo the oil. Same thing, you take your batter. Large amount and you twist the pan in a rolling motion and you roll 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 and, you roll and there you go. So when you begin, take the habit of taking your spatula and you can just check the sides, you know, leaving your crepe and you can just check under how brown it is. Look at these little bubbles. Ooh. Okay, so when you see bubbles like that, it may mean it's already on its way to be cooked. Bang! Look at this. If you want to know how to flip crepes, by the way, you take your pan, forward motion, you can see the crepe slightly tips over, and this is where you want a crepe pan, and then you do a rolling motion like that. So you will go and you flip your crepe. Okay. And you can, and you can exercise. One, two, three, four, five. Once it's flipped, you don't want to wait too long. All right, we've done it guys, our crepes are here, they are done, based on three eggs, look at this. We've made a nice amount of crepes, enough to feed actually four people. And as you can see, if I take some, look at the consistency. This is what you want, if I press them down, you get that nice consistency, nice and fluffy. And also the colors, look at that. You can flip them like the page of a book and you will have always different texture, different colors, and this is what I love about crepe. But Enough said about those, now we're going to learn how to actually eat them. Alright, so let's see how you can eat this crepe. The very first recipe is the lemon and sugar. Take a piece of fresh lemon, you don't squeeze it, you just actually tap it or rub it against your crepe. Not too much. When it's done, just take a bit of sugar and you sprinkle evenly on your crepe. At that stage, you just fold your crepe once, twice, and a third time. And voila! Second version, which is also famous, you have to do it on the stove, it's usually the butter and sugar crepe. So I've got some melted butter here. Just spread it over nice when you're done. Same thing, you add your sugar everywhere on the crepe. Now for this one, because there's a bit of juice, we're going to do something different. You're going to fold it one side, fold it the other side, and then you fold here, and from there, you're going to roll your crepe, making sure you get everything in. Done. Another classic is the raspberry jam. Ooh, one of my favorites. You will take the jam and you will start rolling around like a madman. Oh, there you go. Swirl, baby, swirl. Okay, now, if calories are your friend, try this one which is whipped cream and hot chocolate. You can do the same with the raspberry This is my special raspberry jam and whipped cream all blended together. Oh yeah. Bang, bang. This is the master pancake. And that concludes our video on the French crepe making. I hope you enjoy it and most important, I hope you're gonna try it at home and make your own recipe because this is what crepes are all about. It's a family thing in France really. Everybody should have a go and making little crepes is always fun. Now if you like the video please subscribe to my channel as it's always good support. Leave some comments and I get back to you. Au revoir!